Hello, welcome to Vedil Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see a problem based on thermogravimetric analysis. And this particular problem is taken from GATE 2024 question paper. So now let us see the question. In thermogravimetric analysis, 12.45 milligram of copper sulfate 5H2O was subjected to heating under nitrogen atmosphere. At a particular temperature, there was a weight loss of 3.6 milligram. The number of water molecules lost per formula unit is. So in this particular question, we are given a known weight of copper sulfate 5H2O. And then on heating, we see there is a loss of uh, substance, which is around uh, 3.6 milligram. So they are asking, what is the number of molecules of water that is lost from this formula unit? So before we go into solving this particular problem, let us see some basic principle of thermogrammetric analysis. And then we will go into understanding about copper sulfate 5H2O and its thermogram. And finally, we will see this particular problem. So what is the principle? So in a principle, we know uh, TGA it is in short form uh, is a technique in which the mass of the substance is monitored as a function of temperature or time. So as the sample specimen is subjected to a controlled temperature program in a controlled atmosphere. So when we talk about a controlled atmosphere, it means it can be in the presence of an inert uh, gas such as nitrogen or uh, helium. So this is a technique which measures the sample's weight as it is heated or cooled in a furnace. So we are actually measuring the weight of the substance after heating it for a period of time or during a period of over a, uh, what to say, over a temperature range. All of these can be studied. So this is a simple representation of how we can measure the weight loss. So the uh, weight loss is measured with respect to increment in temperature. Uh, if we are studying weight loss in the presence of nitrogen, then that weight loss is called as decomposition reaction. On the other hand, when uh, the same uh, study is made in the presence of oxygen, then the reaction is called as combustion. So uh, we can see in the next slide, what are the different types of, uh, um, you know, applications that can be done using TGA. So all of these are various things that can be analyzed or studied using TGA. So I can find out the loss of how much water is lost. I can find out how much solvent is lost, um, whether decarboxylation reaction has happened or not. Then pyrolysis, oxidation, weight percentage filler, amount of metallic catalyst res residue remaining on carbon nanotubes, weight percentage ash, loss of plasticizer, decomposition. So all of these are different types of uh, changes in a molecule when it is subjected to temperature change, high temperatures. And this changes results in weight loss. So we can study weight loss and we can understand whether the particular molecule that we are studying uh, has undergone change and what is the change due to and validate it. So all of these are quantifiable applications upon heating. So what is a thermogram or a thermal curve? So recently I showed you one representation. So on the y-axis we saw weight percentage. On the x-axis we saw temperature. So it can be time or temperature. So this is the graphical plot. So thermogravimetric analysis results in a data which can be plotted as a thermogram. So this is how a thermogram will look. So you, uh, you, we have temperature on the x-axis and weight percentage on the y-axis. So initially at low temperature, we know uh, the substance will have maximum weight. So over a period of time, as the temperature is increased, in this particular case, the, there is no loss of weight to the substance. And suddenly we see there is a fall in weight and then it becomes stable. So this curve portion is a portion which means there is weight loss with the temperature range. So between these two temperature range, we see a significant loss of weight for this particular substance. So by understanding this, or this is also called as decomposition if it is done in the presence of oxygen, sorry, combustion in the presence of oxygen. 
or uh, in the presence of nitrogen this is called as the decomposition so i can tell the temperature at which the substance begins to decompose so this is a very important application for a lot of organic compounds to understand its decomposition temperature or its stability up to which temperature the compound could be stable is something which is very important for us to use them in various day to day applications well coming to these inorganic compounds we know copper sulfate pentahydrate um, is a uh, salt inorganic compound and it is a blue color salt uh, and when it is heated you know this is a simple laboratory experiment which we have all done wherein when we rose copper sulfate pentahydrate um, uh, it becomes a white solid and that white solid again if you add water it will become a blue liquid so this is a simple example of how this five water molecules which is also called as water of hydration can be removed by heat so uh, uh, by normal heating itself this could happen so using thermogrammetric analysis we can study copper sulfate pentahydrate and this is a very good reference material to verify if our instrument works or not so we know copper sulfate when it is heated pentahydrate when it is heated to 65 degree it uh, dehydrates to uh, copper sulfate free water molecules then again subjected to uh, up to 90 degree we see it becomes copper sulfate one water molecule and you raise it the temperature further to 220 degree centigrade uh, the remaining water also goes out and you get anhydrous copper sulfate this anhydrous copper sulfate is white in color whereas this is green in, sorry this is blue in color so this uh, here you will see a plain greenish blue color uh, of the salt so from uh, from this copper sulfate blue you will slowly see the uh, color changing from light blue to colorless so when you see a thermogram this is how uh, the degree dehydration of copper sulfate happens so again i told you thermogram is a representation of weight loss versus temperature so as the temperature is uh, rising so this is the situation where copper sulfate is in the uh, uh, pentahydrate state so as the temperature is increased we see at 65 degree copper sulfate degrades to copper sulfate 3h2o so two molecules of water is removed and as the temperature further increases to 90 degree we see another two molecules are removed and this is how we see the thermogram looks so every place where you see a bend is a place where the molecule in that particular state is stable and then again there is a fall which means there is degradation again it has a stable weight in this particular range again as the temperature raises at this particular point again it uh, has a weight loss and it becomes stable again so in total we see how copper sulfate loses water over a period of time and every time it loses two molecules of water in the first two stages and then the last stage it it gives out one molecule of water so this is how a typical thermogram of copper sulfate pentahydrate looks in our particular question we are given the initial weight of copper sulfate then we are told loss of weight and we are asked to find out how many water molecules have gone out so that is what we are going to see in this particular problem so in this i have written the problem uh, along with the answer here so in this question first and foremost we must know the molecular weight of copper sulfate so the molecular weight of copper sulfate is 249.5 and then molecular weight of water again you know is 18 grams so there are five molecules of water so it is 90 grams in the sense 249 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate contains 90 grams of water here we are given 12.45 mg of copper sulfate so for 12.45 mg of copper sulfate the now milligrams of water is about 4.49 mg which is nothing but 90 it's simple mathematics 90 divided by 249 into 12.45 so for 12.45 we have 4.49 mg of water and here what is given 
there was a weight loss of 3.6 mg so weight loss is equal to the number of water molecules okay so 4.5 mg is equal to 5 molecules of water therefore 3.6 mg is equal to 5 divided by 4.9 into 3.6 which is equal to 4 molecules of water so the number of water molecules of lost per formula weight is 4 molecules this is how we do the calculation for this particular uh, thermogrammetric analysis based dehydration reaction that has happened thank you kindly like and subscribe to our videos hope you like it